Welcome CSC 121 to EX8 Rock, Paper, Scissors. And I'm going to start off by just showing you a sample of the way it's working so far. And again, this is the way I did it. It doesn't mean it's the way you're going to do it. You may do some things a little bit differently and that's fine. We may go back and edit it and make things more efficient as we look at what we've done. We may go back and edit things so that when people enter things, we can kind of troubleshoot. Things don't go right as we as people kind of play this little game here. But again, it's very simple and it's kind of building on what we started with the random number. So I'm just going to run this here just so you see what I have so far and to just go over what the output is. Now the output is choose rock, paper, scissors. And I'm just going to put in rock because I like going with rock. And I got a tie because the computer chose rock and it says tie rock equals rock. Try again. And it also tells me the score, U0, computer 0, in a best of 3. So nobody gets any points when there's a tie. It says try again, there's a prompt, and there's a space, which is just a new line that's in there. So I get prompt again to go, so I'll go with, with rock again. This time I'll spell rock wrong. I'll put R OK. And that works OK. This time I lost because they chose paper. The computer got paper. And it says paper covers rock, try again. And now I'm down 0 to 1. Computer has 1, and I get to try again. And I'm going to stick with rock. And this time I'm just going to put it in R. And I got a tie again. So let me just stick with R. And I got a tie again. So they know I'm doing R. This time they're not going to be expecting R. They're going to think I'm going to change. So I'll go back with R again. And it tied again. I got three ties in a row. And we only have three random numbers, three choices. So that can happen. I'll just keep going with rock. And I lost. Now I'm down 2 0 because they chose paper again. I guess the computer caught on that I'm using rock every time. But I'm going to stick with rock. So let me choose rock one more time. And I lost three nothing. And now it says game over and there's no more prompts. And I lost three nothing in a best of three. So that's kind of the way it works and that's the way it should work, at least from, from what I had envisioned. There's other things we could do with this, but it's basically a best of three and we keep going and seeing if we can beat the computer. Now this doesn't keep score, you know, this is, would be one match. I lost one match, you could try matches, but as far as, you know, this is rock, paper, scissors. How exciting can it be? So that's what happens there. Notice that the prompt can be rock, can be R, or anything that starts with R, P, or S. I went with rock each time. I should have tried some other ones, but kind of a rock guy when it comes to rock, paper, scissors. So that's kind of the start of where this is going. Now we're going to take a look at some code. So I'm going to start this from scratch. We can look at this. We can look at some of the things we have here, but these are in the instructions. We have some variables that are keeping track of the points. We have a function, and it's one big function called user choice. And that has our input that has converting to lowercase, that has generating the random number, that actually has our global variable of u points and com points so that inside a function it'll still update, and then it has a whole series of if else statement. There's if, elif, elif, and it kind of repeats of three, three, and three. I put these little dividers in here. So it does all these elifs, and that's basically what the matchups are. Those are all the matchups that can possibly be, whether you're choosing rock, paper, scissors, and all what the computer's choosing. And then in each case, you can see there's output here, whether you win, whether you lose, or whether you tie. So you could do win, lose, or tie each time. Once you get up to three wins, it's going to stop. I'll go over what I did in the end, because this was was after doing some editing that I went back and I was like, oh, I should do this and I should do that. What you're going to want to do is try and get it to work one time and then figure out a way to actually make it repeat so you could keep playing as many times as you want. And, you know, you could use while loops and things like that. I just, I just kind of set the points up to be three and then once it gets to three, it's kind of over. Once somebody wins, gets the three points, it says game over. Uh, and then he actually has a return in there which stops the function or else it actually runs the same function again. So part of what we're doing here is we're running this function. This is running the function down here. We're just calling it. After we define it, we run it. It's called user choice. And notice I put user choice in this check points function so that if the points aren't at three, it'll keep running user choice. I also have check points in here. I put check points inside the user choice function so that it's going to check points. If the points are up, the game's over. If not, it'll keep replaying. So the replaying part of it is actually built inside of this function. So I'll get to that as we go along, but I'll kind of start off very simply and just kind of lead you through the process of kind of problem solving right from the beginning, just getting it simple. This is an exercise where it kind of build up with very simple things that we already know and then and then kind of troubleshoot as we go. So I'm going to stop there for part one and then we'll get into the code in the next video.